T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm reviewing Transformers Generations Transformers Studio Series Ratchet. This is his Mission City backdrop right there. There he is on that backdrop. Here is his saw blade, the instruction manual. The packaging looks like this when you don't have the backdrop in there, the, the symbol disappears. We have this right here. Autobot Ratchet clears the path with steadfast speed. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he's number four. This video is different from my other videos in this series because I don't feel like doing a bunch of editing. But anywho, Ratchet is decent. Here's his little saw blade. I don't like the saw blade. I wish he came with that yellow gun that he had in the original movie because that looked better. But this is detailed. Come on, camera, work with me. You hear me saying I don't feel like editing. But it's a silver piece of plastic with this black peg. So it's really black with silver on it. He puts it on his arm. And there you go with that. I do not remember the saw blade at all. It's not iconic to me. I honestly don't even remember much ratchet activity. Besides him saying he wants to mate with the female. He can hold this in his hand. If you want that. I do like the hand detail. Honestly, I didn't mention this in Starscream's review. I wish Starscream's hands could look like that. But I guess for the trans... No, even for his transformation. They could have looked like this. But they didn't do that. As far as Ratchet himself. <sighs> the theme of the deluxe class figure is compromise. I mean, he looks good. It looks decent. But he has some frustrating bits of articulation. This detail right there. You're supposed to open that. That looks unfinished. I mean, it just looks like a big hole in his chest. Like, is it really supposed to be? like? I, I had to watch the original movie to see that. But he just has like a little hole. And I do have this guy after... I transform him back from truck mode. I'm going to transform this guy off camera. I don't feel like doing that right now. Because it was a hassle transforming that thing. But here's another compromise. Oh yeah, why I brought that guy in. He has a big hole in his chest like that too. So maybe that is movie accurate. And I didn't pay attention. This. What the hell is this? They, they have no reason to do this. Let me show you this. This pegs in up here in vehicle mode. If they would have kept this pegged in and glued it, I mean, because it, it is flexible to do what you need to do to transform it, they could have cut this and it would still, they would leave this top part up here and this could fold and wrap up under there. So it wouldn't have this big dumb bar up there. So I may when I get some more professional grade crazy glue. Because what I got sucks. I may glue that. And then try to cut that as precision like as possible. To get rid of that. That is dumb. And this like clicks that into place. For whatever reason. They did not give him a waist joint. For other figures, I can understand why, in this figure's case, that was just being cheap. So, I don't like that. His articulation, it's good. You can go up to here. He has these joints right here. Now, what I don't like with Deluxe Classes 2 is it seems like things don't like to peg into place with them. So this will be, anytime you manipulate it, it'll be up here, it'll be back here. You just have to fix it. I do like it that it has this swivel and it has a double jointed elbow. That's nice. The elbow actually can bend the other way. No risk. There's no reason why it doesn't have a risk. And I like this. It's not hollow back here. It's not hollow on the side. Now they do have these little two notches, but you, you can overlook that. I've been overlooking it. So it. I like that they made his arms look as solid as possible. In fact, his whole body does. 
when his legs rotate right here on the thigh joint they kind of stay in a place sort of like that mech alive type technique that they had the legs can kick up really really high unfortunately unfortunately for me on this one this hip socket seems a little bit loose and sometimes the leg will just come right off the knee bends it has ankle pivot because the foot is on a ball joint the foot can rock back but it can't rock forward that much i wish they would have molded that so that this can groove forward this figure is a ton like this hunt for decepticons or no dark of the moon no actually it's revenge of the fallen the ratchet that i have i'm wrong i'm wrong that ratchet i believe is hunt for decepticons because it, it it is compatible with the hunt for decepticons lockdown oh yeah it is a decent amount of articulation he just kind of looks bland due to the fact that he doesn't have a cool weapon to go with it and no this gun right here is not compatible with him it's no follow five millimeter peg right there you just have this and this pegs into lockdown or ratchet in fact ratchet this ratchet doesn't hold it in the hand this like grooves into the arm and makes another mech alive type action happen oh there's no way unless you no no i haven't figured out anything there's no way you can make him hold this gun and that's unfortunate here he is next to bumblebee and optimus prime and he is a deluxe class and he's a deluxe class hey anywho there you go with that transformation let's take this out of his arm and let's do what you're gonna forget bring this down wrap that around bring it back like that bring this down turn it around wrap it to the back don't mess with that no more right now what I do is just, just get that out of the way tap that back into place oh yeah one thing I forgot to mention this 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 really drives me crazy they didn't put his head on a ball joint his head just swivels oh that frustrated the crap out of me anywho rotate this around like that lift this up and rotate all of this like that so you don't have his face peeking out of under here like RC or fans to his ruse turn the head around now we can pop this unfold this unfold this leave that like that for now bring this up like that bring that up these don't peg together that, that frustrating lift this up and try to kind of groove them into place on both sides one thing that will make this fight you like it's fighting me is if the feet start moving themselves out of place which they do I wish the feet connected together <sighs> yeah once you make these panels line up right there that should be all right now what we need to do <coughs> Just take this and rotate it like that. Start bringing this back into here, which this does tap into there. We need to rotate the wheels and get this light behind this bar. Then we can start pegging things to things he says <laughs> I love Ben's collectibles push this out to there bring this back to this way rotate this like that and push this around Ugh, no everything 
move these to here and shut that one there. And now we need to tab this into the front on both sides. And now we have an ambulance. And it's aggravating to, to do all that, but it's there. This seemed like it's a simple transformation, but it, it, it was frustrating as you just saw. Rolls. It has those cheap peg in wheels. But well, here are the details. What is it? Search, rescue, search, and rescue, fire. And look, look how that's not right. Like, is that right? That's how it was in the movie? Anyway, search and rescue. They painted all that. This will not freaking peg in. Come on. Stay there. Your fire's not crooked right there. But it's crooked right there. They painted this. Luckily. They didn't paint any other light details. This is what it looks like under the bottom. You can attach this saw blade right here into the tire. It sticks up. It looks weird. Or you can put it there and it still looks weird. Does it peg under here anywhere? No, and you can't like force it to be anywhere. Well, yes you can. Huh. That's not in the instructions, and it's nowhere near secure, but it can still roll if you want. And his wheel is turning because one of these isn't pegged in. These things do not like pegging in. The plastic is thin, and pegging on plas thin plastic is not a good idea. Here it is next to the hunt for the Decepticons one. It's smaller, and it's a different shade of greenish yellow plastic right there I do not feel like transforming the other Autobots from this wave or this line I'll do that in my recap video where I show all the figures I'll show them all together in robot mode every single one of the nine figures and I'll show all of them in robot mode and vehicle mode I don't know what I said yeah oh my god I need to go to sleep after this here he is on this backdrop reverse transformation and now he is a freaking robot again so he's a decent action figure but he's not all that amazing his worst problem is not coming with a gun and having that all that hanging up off his butt that is horrible and i can't believe they let this go out to the public like that I, whoever was the designer of this toy and they saw that they they had to have that happen to get this out on American shelves and Japanese shelves since this is Takarto Mian Hasbro I know that they are just cringing every time they look at this ratchet because I know they didn't design it like that so <laughs> that's frustrating and annoying but other than that it is still a good action figure because he does the action figure stuff that he's supposed, supposed to do now let me transform that other ratchet and here he is. They're roughly close. No, he's a little bit taller than the new Ratchet. Let's bring the camera down. He's just a smidge taller than the, the new Ratchet. But he's still shorter than Optimus. Which is still good. The flaws or things that are worse about this figure than this one making this guy worth picking up is these panels hanging off right there that that that's ugly he didn't have that in the movie and this this is absolutely atrocious <laughs> what 
I completely blacked this out of my mind and forgot about this. This is something that's memorable. That is absolutely horrible. I could stick my pinky all the way through his body. So, in some regards, the articulation is better. Like, it has double jointed knees. but And it has this motion right there. But it just is clunky and over-engineered and frustrating. The head can barely rotate. It's on a ball joint. Well, which I complained about that needing to be on, but it barely freaking moves. Arms, yeah. So, <laughs> besides having this gun and having hand motion that can do that limp wristed action right there, it can't rotate. <sighs> they have similar articulation, but I think ultimately. The new Studio Series one winds up being better. <sighs> so, yeah, you decide. You let me know in the, in the comments which one you like better. Even though I didn't do a full review on that. But based on what I've just showed you, tell me which, you, which, which one you like better. But anywho, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you stayed this long into the video, you must like it. So I'm going to keep on rambling. Why you're clicking the like button right now? I mean, I don't, I don't know why you ain't do that. If you're subscribed to me, just, just click like, right away. Click like right away. Don't, you don't even gotta watch it. You, you know you're gonna like it. Anywho, until next time, T Man Nine Seven Eight out of here. Thank you for watching. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Videos, click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.